Earl Glant, shop foreman here at Township Chevrolet uh, with another edition of uh, Tech Talk, kind of sticking with our back to basics theme. Um, next thing we're going to discuss is spark plugs. So uh, I guess first things first, we'll kind of show you guys, I guess for those who don't know what a spark plug is and kind of what its job is. So this is a spark plug. Uh, most of them look generally the same. Uh, there is a few differences between which we'll talk about in a little bit here. Um, this is what delivers the spark to the actual combustion chamber for the explosion to happen uh, inside, the, uh, inside the cylinder. So uh, the spark happens between this gap here and that's what fires it. So we're kind of going to talk about when you should change these, um, what types you should look for for your car, maybe how often you should do them. Uh, spark plugs are a great tool for, um, for a technician if you know how to read them. Uh, they're just like uh, eyes for an optometrist. They can find a lot of things wrong with your, uh, with your health through your eyes. These are the same way. So, for instance, um, we can tell if the vehicle is getting too much fuel, not enough fuel, too much air, not enough air. Uh, if there's any ignition issues or pre-ignition, if your engine's burning oil, if your engine's running too hot, all that stuff can be, we can see that on the different, uh, different colors or the way the, the way the spark plug looks when we take it out. Um, spark plugs, uh, I guess the, the main thing that the, you know, you'd feel it yourself um, or, or, or notice yourself as the person driving the vehicle would be, you might feel a misfire or uh, the engine kind of shaking or vibrating, especially on cold start because spark plugs uh, have to work harder on a cold engine start. Uh, you might even feel a misfire in the engine when you're driving or heavy load up a hill and trying to maintain your speed. Uh, check engine light is another thing that may happen that you may see. Uh, if there's enough of those misfires over a certain amount of revolutions of the engine, that'll come on. You can also obviously pour fuel mileage. So those are kind of the main things that you'll uh, notice driving the vehicle and that might be you're in for spark plugs. The, the interval change is roughly, most cars stay in the road are between 100 and 160,000 kilometers. Now there's a bunch of different factors uh, that can change that number. Uh, how hard you drive your car, higher RPMs, higher revolutions, if you're a person that uh, keeps the RPM up higher, obviously over them, those miles you're driving your RPM, you're, you're turning more, the engine over more times, which means the spark plug's firing more times. Um, if you're working the spark plug under a heavier load, so if you're hauling a trailer or a camper in a gas engine, obviously that's going to uh, cause them to wear out. Um, and any other issues with the engine, that may overwork them. So for instance, if you've, uh, if someone's diagnosed a, a faulty fuel injector or an oxygen sensor that's gone bad, or you've got been running around with a dirty air filter for quite a while and you've lost some engine power, uh, that's gonna make this spark plug work harder. The importance to changing these before you really have an issue is, uh, this is kind of the last thing in your ignition system. So anything before that is gonna be overworked um, if the spark plug's not changed. So as the spark plug wears, uh, so that little tip on the end is supposed to be uh, either it's iridium or platinum uh, or copper. And that little, that, that tip on the spark plug, the spark likes to jump off a nice sharp, sharp edge. So as it wears out, the spark plug will become rounded on the side, so it makes it harder to jump. Um, so when it gets harder to jump, it requires more voltage to jump that gap or if the gap's wearing down and it's getting farther away on the tip, same thing, which means your coil has to work harder, it has to saturate itself more to jump the spark, which means your computer has to turn the coil on for a longer period of time, and that's harder on the computer. So in your spark plug wire, if you have one on your vehicle that's delivering the spark, also has to have more electricity flowing through it. So all those things uh, can wear out quicker from something just as simple as a spark plug. So for the most part, spark plugs are pretty easy to change on your vehicle. Uh, I just have, a, I have a, Ma a Malibu here. We'll just kind of give you a, a quick rundown of kind of where they are at. Just give you an example. The spark plug on this, there's a six cylinder engine. There's three here in the front, really easy to get at. Really easy to get at. Just unplug it. This is your ignition coil we talked about earlier that, that sends the spark down through. You slide that out through there. Now, unfortunately on this, on this particular style engine, uh, the other three spark plugs are under this intake. So you'd have to remove this intake to, to put those spark plugs in. Uh, when you're changing spark plugs, those spark plugs have a torque spec. It's one of the most commonly over torqued things uh, in our industry. So there is a torque spec on, on them and they're not, it's not very high. Um, 
So yeah, uh, three, I guess three main types of spark plugs are uh, platinum, iridium and copper. Um, if you your car calls for, uh, whatever your car calls for, you should replace it with. But if you have replaced them with a lower grade, grade plug, meaning let's say your car calls for a platinum plug or an iridium plug, and you've gone and you've put a copper plug in, your intervals of what your vehicle uh, calls for for spark plug changes is obviously changed as well. Uh, copper plugs are usually about a 20,000 mile spark plug. So that's a far cry from the 60 or 120,000 miles that were, came in the car. So. Um, if you're gonna change your plugs to the design, I recommend going up. So if you're copper now, or you're just a regular old spark plug, go to an iridium or platinum, because they are better for obviously more mileage and they're a more rugged plug. The tips don't wear out because of the different style design. They don't wear out as quickly, so. Um, yeah, that's pretty much all there is on spark plugs. Um, like I say, if you're feeling it, if you're noticing any poor mileage, check engine light on, any misfires, especially under heavy load, uh, it could be a sign that you need your spark plugs changed. Uh, most cars, OBD2 and newer, if you have a spark plug that's misfiring in the engine, it will uh, set an engine misfire code, which will store in the computer. So your check engine light doesn't have to be on at the time you bring it into us. You could bring it in, check engine light, let's say, comes on on a Saturday, and by the time you come in to see us or make an appointment on Monday or Tuesday, obviously the light is out and you're, you're like, oh, maybe I'll just not bother coming in. Any codes that are stored in the engine, as long as the battery's not disabled, um, it'll store it. So for instance, if it's a, a number six misfire in this car, it'll be a P0306. And that'll tell the tech there's a misfire in that car. And then we obviously go in and, and look and check things like coil and wiring and, and spark plug. But a lot of the times it is the spark plug because it's doing a lot of the work in there. So um, if you think you, uh, you need your spark plugs changed, you're not even sure what your interval is and you want to find out, uh, just give us a call or uh, jump online there and uh, book your appointment and bring it in and we'll, uh, we'll take a look and, and uh, give you an opinion on your spark plugs. Uh, that's another addition to Tech Talk and look, look forward to doing business with you.